Hello my configs, yes it is I the Kappa Config bringing you guys another video. As you can see guys it's another tech video so we're straight to the point as we always do so let's get it on. So today I'm doing you the setting not for Black Ops 3 so ignore that up there because that's not actually right but this setting is for Fortnite. Yes if you're playing Fortnite I said I was going to do a tech video to show you guys the best settings for Fortnite so let's have a look. So as you can see here the radius is 0. 24, 33 and 43 with a low sensitivity. These are the best settings I could find for now of the test of Fortnite. So you guys test it out for me. Let me know what you think of it and see how we get on with it. And if you feel that there's anything to be tweaked, let me know in the comments below guys and I'll have a look into that. But this is what I've been working on for you guys and hopefully that's gonna help you out. So there we go. So pause it here if you need to see it or write it down. And let's move on to the next one because I want to kill two birds with one stone today. And we're actually going to go through the macros as well. So again, 0, 24, 33, 43 and a low sensitivity. Also, just to quickly show you guys the mapping X and 0 is M3 and M4 on the back, which is the corner triggers. One to make you drop and the other one to open your blueprints. Macros is off, shortcuts is on. Ignore R1 and L1. I don't know why that's there. They're just there for some reason. You can add on something else if you want to add something else there, like reloading or whatever. However you want to do it, that's completely up to you. But I'm just going to obviously make your web X and zero on there. Make sure you activate your profiles. Obviously, once you've changed any details, that's how you create new profiles if you need to know that. I had a look into profiles to see if there were any new profiles. There isn't any new ones. And triggers, I've left them the same as Black Ops 3 which is the shortest ones for me. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, guys, is look into the macro. So you come back here, go back to mapping. As you can see, shortcuts and macros is on, and I've mirrored them here, M1, M1, M2, M2, M3, M3, M4, M4. We've kept them all the same, and then obviously just press save on there. And then when we come back here, we go to macros, and this is how I've done it. So one I've set up is just to open the blueprints. The other one is to open the blueprint and press R1 to the, 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 to the desired item you're wanting to build. Also in Fortnite, if you go to the settings, make sure that you set it so it, ref, it, it goes back to default each time you use it and doesn't stay on the same one. There's like a setting in Fortnite. I can't remember what they said. I think it's reset building options or something. And it basically diverts back to its default position every time you close the blueprint that's what needs to be activated and this is how you do it so you click modify i just delete them you choose the interval i found that medium seemed to be the best interval that means you're going to have to hold it in until it actually shows you the blueprint it will take a medium interval for it to appear and then you come on here then you press circle you want to then click here to add and you want to click r1 click here to add and then you want to click R1 and click here to add and then save it and do the same for the other ones. This basically means that it's going to press a button, it's going to release it, and it's going to press a button, it's going to release it and it's going to press a button. So it's basically like you pressing circle R1 R1 and that's how it works. Rather than having the other one if it's the plus sign it means it's pressing both buttons at the same time. So you don't want to be doing that. So there you go guys. That is macro setup as well for you. So you can try out those new settings, the right joystick, and maybe add macros as well. The only downfall to have the macros on is I like to use the back button to jump, especially when you're going against shotgunners, because obviously they're going to be jumping about and trying to shoot you in the head. So I find it best to use the other way. So it's completely up to you. Let me know in the comments below, guys. And there we go. That's how we do it. So hopefully you've enjoyed, guys. If you did, don't forget. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you're new, and become one of Kappa's convicts. And I will see you guys in another video. So I salute you, and bye for now.